to my channel today i will be doing a in-depth review of the brand full cheeks if you don't know full cheeks is now the PetSmart brand they basically just switch over their name and rebranded themselves basically and came out with a whole line of pet items specifically mainly for like smaller pets i've noticed so i'm just gonna do a quick review on their brand and their company on their items that they're now selling and tell you my thoughts and opinions on them so the first thing that we have is the Hamster and Gerbil Foraging Diet. This is basically their food mix. And this costs you about $6.49. Food contains wheat, millet, corn, sunflower seeds, dry grains, dehydrated alfalfa, green peas, blitz. It is made up of grains, vegetables, and seeds. And keep in mind that when you're getting this, this is for foraging, not for food. So do not get this thinking that you can only feed your hamster this because this is not what this item is meant for, or at least that's not how they're marketing it. And I also recommend that you don't do this as well just by reading the ingredients through this. I do think for foraging, it could be pretty good. It does seem to have like a lot of um, little like pellet likes in there in the mix. So... I probably won't personally buy it for that one um, reason. It doesn't have a big variety in there. So I'm going to say a pass on this reading one. the reviews for this, a lot of people were saying that it had a lot of small pieces and that it was dusty. And it wasn't just one person saying this. It was actually like a lot of reviews um, claiming this. Who decided to get this? Hey, do keep that in mind. It is ranging. It's on the cheaper side, actually. It's ranging from $5.99 to $19.99. But do keep that in mind when you, if you decide to purchase this or if you um, wanted to and you saw it in the stores, a lot of people are saying the exact same thing by being dusty. And I know even with rabbits and guinea pigs, they can be pretty picky on what hay you're using. So I will probably stay away from this one as well. So I'm going to say pass. And now we're going to talk about the full cheeks paper bedding. As you know, um, paper bedding is really good for your hamsters and it is actually really absorbent. They actually have some that's unscented and it's the 14 day odor control. Just because it says odor control does not mean it contains any like harmful um, ingredients in there or any chemicals. So just because it says that, do keep that in mind. I actually find the full cheeks bedding to be pretty nice. Um, I've only had it, I think I only bought one or two bags of it before, but the bags that I had was nice. But, you know, sometimes with bedding, it could be a little bit of a hair miss. Sometimes some bags are, like, really dusty and some bags aren't. So, from my personal experiences, I found it to be pretty okay. This ranged from $19.99 to $26.99. So, it is about kind of on the pricey side because $19.99 is the smaller bag. Depending on how small that it actually is, it actually could be quite expensive. Since the paper bedding, and they claim that it's 99% dust-free which I can probably agree with that actually. I, I know a lot of bedding can say dust free, 99% dust free, but then when you open it, you're like, like so much dust is coming out. But this one actually found to not be dusty, surprisingly. Get into like your more bigger things with this um, brand. So they have this hamster cage. As you know, pet store pet cages are just we're still waiting for it to come there but the base is the base is a pull out so there's a tray at the bottom that you can pull out it's like a clear tray and then you can open it up from the side it has a side door entry and it also has a top door entry um most like previous pet cages inside the pet store you usually have one entry and it'd be like the smallest square ever and you're expected to put your hand in there grab your hamster if needed clean out the cage like it was literally impractical and impossible to use them if you heard of munchie's place on youtube she actually did a deep review on this um enclosure so if you would like to see a deeper review on that of course you can i will leave the link in the description box down below but a thing that she mentioned when she was um testing it out and making sure it was durable it was actually incredibly flimsy the wires were like just going like this just from slight pressure um it was just 
it showed that that's the type of hamster enclosure that your hamster will escape from. There's no way they won't be able to bend that if it easily can morph like that. This hamster cage includes a wheel. It says it comes with a ramp, a water bottle, a food bowl, food and bedding. It's the full size hamster enjoyable pelleted diet and apple treat and then 14 liters of the bedding. So this is basically supposed to be your hamster starter up kit. They said, here, buy this, this is all you need. You have food, water, wheel, bedding, like what else do you need? You have everything here, this is perfect for you. Except the fact that one, the tray is not even deep enough because obviously we all know you want six inches minimum for your hamster bedding. The wheel, way too small, I believe it's like, a six and a half yes it's a six and a half inch wheel they claim this cage to be 596 square inches of floor space which means whoever is designing their enclosures or whatever knows that the small pet community are actually looking at square footage and they're like okay look this is over 450 square inches perfect for you so like now you can all just stop complaining now you gotta stop complaining because we reached the bare minimum so everybody should be happy, right? It's like, no, because when you actually do the math, it comes out to be 400. But the wheel is already too small and the cage is already small itself and your pan is low, well, isn't deep. When you go to put your new wheel in, your wheel isn't gonna fit inside this enclosure. You're gonna be stuck with a large Syrian who needs a 12 inch wheel and you only have a six and a half inch now, wheel. We're gonna talk about the Full Cheeks Hamster Enjoyable Pelleted Diet. This is supposed to mimic the rat and Missouri mouse blocks, but this one doesn't meet the protein minimum. Syrians need 18 to 22. And then obviously the older that your hamster get, the less that they need. Just like with any other pet, you don't need that much protein once you get a lot older. It has a 15% fiber, which is actually really high um, amount to have and for some odd reason for this to be for hamsters the number one ingredient is timothy hay can someone tell me why this even has the number one ingredient to be timothy hay that's not what your hamster needs it is nothing to get absorbed that is also just a other things that's similar to this they have a peas and carrots mix and apple slices um this is perfectly fine it's just um the only ingredient is the ingredient that is called is 100% that so it's perfectly safe if you buy any of those they also have um, berry flavor drops the number one ingredient literally listed in this is sugar don't buy that means it has a ton of sugar that your hamster just do not need it's the number one ingredient is sugar and then has powdered strawberry blackberries raspberries dried yogurt so even just having yogurt in as well it's, don't, do not buy this. This one's a no. Um, they also have a dust bath powder. So if you know, you don't want dust for your hamster, but you can use dust for a chinchilla. And people obviously get this mixed up a lot because they're like, it's sand bath. They think it's like the same thing, but it's not. They advertise it for all animals. They say it's for hamsters and gerbils too. But like I mentioned before, and like we all know, you don't want dust for your hamsters. They have a really small respiratory system. This is literally only dust bath powder. It has no sand and no chemicals. So this is 100% dust. Not even a little bit of sand is in here. So definitely pass on this. The last thing that we're gonna talk about is the wheels. So the wheels actually has a really nice, um, like leg sturdy point to where you don't have to worry about being wobbly because even the, um, the Walden wheel, I'm gonna put a picture right here. Even that, I have it and um, the legs on it is like, it can be kind of floppy. You just have to like make sure it's like secured and bedding to keep it stable. But the stand is so thick and wide that it makes it actually really stable. It is a solid wheel and has a nice whip to this. So obviously you don't want your hamster wheel to be very thin because while they're running, it's easy for them to slowly drift off. So having a nice wide base is really nice. This wheel also comes in different sizes. So they moved away from the, um, the ones that's like a spinner. I think that's what they call it. They moved away from those, thank God. 
that is just all of my thoughts for the full cheeks brand review enjoy be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and also ring that bell to be notified of every upload below your thoughts on the brand do you think you want to give it a shot or do you think you'll just pass and not give the company any money both ways i definitely can understand but thank you all so much for watching and i will hopefully see you all in my next week's video bye i just got off the phone with the girl who loves you too said you're working on yourself is she helping